So you want to talk about descendants too, huh? Hi Sparkles. So earlier this week I was going through YouTube and I realized that the You and Me music video from Descendants 2 that I was in hit 185 million views, which is absolutely crazy. So I posted this post. And then I posted this post so that you guys could see what I looked like in Descendants 2. And a bunch of you guys were like, oh my God, what? You were in Descendants 2? And so, so many of you guys asked how I got to be in Descendants 2. Descendants 2. So I decided today I'm going to be answering that question for you guys and letting you know the entire story of how I got to be on Descendants 2 and what it was like. So if you're interested in that, make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up and stick around. All right, so the beginning of this story actually brings us all the way back to summer of 2016 when my friend Keely and I decided that we were going to spend the summer in Vancouver. She was going to do her yoga teacher's training and I was going to go train at Harbor Dance Center. So we planned out our trip. We went and spent August in Vancouver. We had like a sublet that we rented out. It was super fun. I trained at Harbor Dance Center. I went and auditioned for Disney Shanghai and went to a couple other auditions that were super fun. And as soon as I got home, literally the day that I got home, I got a phone call. So you see what had happened was that while I was in Vancouver, I actually signed up for this like unique group of casting directors that have this kind of business called BCF. Now the way that BCF functions is it's kind of like direct casting so it's not necessarily an agent. The BCF workers just cast you directly and they're employed by these film productions. So normally you would be casted in something or at least sent to an audition by an agent and then your agent would get 10%. So BCF doesn't take a portion of your funding, it's actually employed by the production companies in order to get people onto these films. So essentially the day that I got home I went back to work at Booster Juice which was my old job making smoothies and I got called by BCF and they asked me if I would like to come back to Vancouver and work on a film that was called The Lair at the time. And they told me that it was going to be directed by Kenny Ortega and that they saw on my portfolio that I was a singer and a dancer, an actor, and that I had musical theater experience. And they were specifically looking for people that had a Disney kind of look and musical theater experience for this job. And they thought that I was in Vancouver, but I was actually in Alberta. And when I told them that they're like, oh, well, the offer still stands if you want. And so I told my employer at Booster Juice that I was going to be going back to Vancouver. I booked a flight and I headed off to Vancouver again that night. Now, although it was actually the middle of the summer, it was the end of August, my brother was actually going to Vancouver Film School and their program is year long. So he was actually at school in Vancouver at the time. So I went and stayed at my brother's house and I started working on Descendants 2, which was called The Lair, the next day. So the reason why they call it The Lair is because they usually use like a fake name or like a project name so that information doesn't get leaked while we're filming because if they put out the actual title of the movie then it would attract all of these Descendants fans and people might show up at the film studio or on location and that would just disrupt things while we're filming. So the way the filming worked for Descendants 2 is that it was split up between two locations. The main location was in Vancouver and the secondary location was actually in Victoria, BC. So what they did was several weeks of rehearsal in Vancouver and then they shot the portion that was shot in Vancouver and then anybody that was going to be going to Victoria went over and stayed at a hotel in Victoria and they filmed the rest of the portion in Victoria. So I was personally only in involved in the Vancouver section. So all of my work in Descendants 2 was filmed at Vancouver Film Studios in Burnaby, I believe. And I think that was the film studio. I could be wrong about the film studio. It might've been a different one, but I think it was Vancouver Film Studios in Burnaby. And so basically I arrived, I was given a yellow and blue military guard suit that you guys can see in this photo. And all of my scenes took place on a ship for the most part. I just remembered that there was another scene that wasn't actually filmed at the film studio. So most of everything was filmed on a ship. So there was this giant set that was supposed to be a massive pirate ship and everything was CGI. So in reality, it was kind of like a deck to a boat and like everything that you see on the boat was real in terms of like the tables and the ballroom and oh, hello, Mr. Choo Choo. 
and everything that was on the set was actually real, but the walls were CGI'd so that you could see all of the water and the ocean and everything around it. That wasn't there, obviously. We were indoors inside a film studio. So we filmed a couple scenes where Mal turns into this giant flying dragon, that stuff, Cameron, and then China and McLean's character is supposed to turn into this giant octopus and start attacking us with water. And so we ended up being soaked by this giant machine that was like coming overhead and literally just pouring so much water. And those were the first scenes that we filmed. Then we filmed the You and Me music video, and that was the last thing that we filmed at the actual studio. And so that was filmed with like six inches of water on deck. They rehearsed in the actual studio space without the water. And then we added all of the water and then also these machines that were pouring all of the water overhead and soaking us the entire time. And we filmed the You and Me music video. Now that was so much fun. I got to work with Kenny Ortega. I got to work with Dove Cameron, China and McLean, Cameron Boyce, like so many amazing people on that film. I remember Cameron Boyce came up to me and gave me a hug and he was like, good night, bro. It was like, he was so cute. And Dove Cameron walked up to me on that set to look at me directly in the eyes and was like, you have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Kenny Ortega directed me by name. Like, how weird is that to like, Kenny Ortega, just give you some background. Um, he directed the High School Musical series, he directed Hannah Montana and the Jonas Brothers live concerts, he directed Michael Jackson's This Is It tour, like Kenny Ortega is such a big deal, but he was such a big deal to me because he was like my number one inspiration growing up, I was obsessed with Zac Efron in High School Musical, that was like 100% my goals growing up, so that is kind of why when I got the call and they're like, hey, do you want to be on a film with Kenny Ortega? I was like, yes, I will move tonight to be on a film with Kenny Ortega. That is literally like number one on my bucket list. And so the fact that he ended up being the best director and he was like such a hands-on choreographer and he was so nice and he knew everybody's names by the end of filming was just like such an amazing experience. China was extremely nice as well. So many amazing people, so many great actors and performers. I loved my time on Descendants. It was definitely my favorite set that I've ever worked on in my entire life. So we did end up leaving Vancouver Film Studios and this is when we started filming at an abandoned mental institution, which is called Riverview. And that is in Coquitlam, BC. And essentially we filmed all of these scenes that were like rainbow and splatter walled. And it was a very interesting day because I don't know if you guys follow all of these Disney stars lives super closely, but basically Dove and her long-term boyfriend ended up breaking up in the middle of filming. And so she has to continue filming this show as if nothing is going on and she's like perfectly okay. Meanwhile, she just broke up with her boyfriend of so many years. And so that was really, really hard on her. I remember her just like listening to headphones. She wouldn't talk to anybody. She wouldn't even look at anybody on those days when we were filming. And um, that day was actually really, really weird when we were filming at Riverview Coquitlam because it's supposedly haunted. But not only that, I was sitting in a green room with some other military guards, like other guys that were playing military guards. And they looked down at my sleeve and they're like, hey, there's some blood on your sleeve. What the heck? And I was like, oh, that's weird. And we looked around and there was like nothing on the table. There was nothing anywhere. I wasn't bleeding. I didn't have a cut. Nobody else in the room had a cut. And then we looked and we saw blood dripping down the white cinder block walls. So that was the creepiest thing absolutely ever. So yeah, I think that it was kind of like a super cool experience because I didn't even have to audition for the film. They were looking for people super last minute, like filming started the next day after they contacted me. I ended up filming, I think, seven days in total. Overall, I would say that it was definitely an incredible experience and I would do it all over again if I could. The one thing that I didn't like was that I had to shave literally three times a day because for Disney, nobody can have facial hair and we all needed to look like teenagers. So I literally had to shave three times a day and then they would pack on the makeup over top of my freshly shaved face, which didn't feel very pretty. But yeah, that is how I got on Descendants 2. And that is my story about being on the set. Honestly, I met so many amazing friends on that set that I still have to this day. It was like the best experience ever. If you like this video, make sure to give it a great big thumbs up. If you want to hear my stories from other sets, then I guess let me know down in the comments. I would have to, I guess, let you guys know which other films and movies and TVs shows that I've been in and stuff, I guess, or else which stories you would want me to tell, I don't know. But anyways, that is it for this video. If you liked it, give it a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are brand new here. And as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. And I will catch you guys in the next movie.
I don't know why I just said that. I will catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.